Hey everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I'm going to be showing you how you can activate bot lobbies in your games so that you can get free wins in Fortnite Battle Royale. It's really easy and you're going to get a lot of XP from these so I highly recommend you do them. Let's take a look. Okay, so to be able to do the bot lobbies on your main account you will actually need a second account and you will also need a secondary device. Now the secondary device will have to be either a switch or a mobile but obviously because you can't play Fortnite on any phones right now you're gonna have to use a Nintendo Switch. Now for the first step you want to be doing is going to epicgames.com and creating a brand new fresh account. Then you want to be linking it to a brand new Nintendo Switch account. Okay so once you've got your Switch account up and running you can load up Fortnite on your Switch and you should have the new Epic Games account which has never been played on before. Um, if this has worked properly you should get the cinematic for the season and that's because the account is brand new and it's never been played. Now the next thing you want to be doing is adding your main account as a friend on Epic. So just add yourself as a friend and join the lobby of your bot. You can join yourself but it's just easier if you join your Nintendo Switch lobby for this. As of the time I'm recording this video, bot lobbies only work in duos and squads and they don't actually work in any LTMs as of now, but that might change in the future, but we don't really know. Now, you can use Phil if you like, but if you do put Phil on, you'll get one random real person put on your team and the rest will all be AI. Once you have readied up on both your main account and your secondary account, you're going to want to wait until the loading screen appears on the Nintendo Switch. Then as soon as it appears, you're going to want to close the app down and close Fortnite. This is so that the app thinks you're still a new player and you've never played a game, so you can keep using it again and again. Once you've loaded up into the game, the easiest way to check that you're actually in a bot lobby and not a main game is to simply look at the player count. If the player count is 99 and it takes one minute for the battle bus to start, that means you're definitely in a bot lobby because usually the battle bus starts within 30 seconds and not a minute. Now, if you haven't actually received a win already this season, you can actually unlock the victory umbrella for this season in bot lobbies, which I think is pretty nice if somebody's struggling to unlock that. Um, now, stats wise, you actually can achieve the stats for the matches, although they count as LTM wins, so you don't really get all the XP for the wins but you do get the XP for an LCM win, so that's pretty cool. Now the big question that everybody will be wondering is can I get banned for using bot lobbies? And the answer is simply no. If Epic wanted to ban everybody that used bot lobbies, it'd be impossible because they'd have to ban all the new players as well, and that wouldn't really make any sense. You can unlock all the XP you would normally get from a normal match in bot games. Um, you can even unlock XP coins if you wish. The only thing you can't do is maybe a specific challenge that forces you to use an LTM for example. Now you can actually play the bot lobbies with friends if you wish. You will have to use a squad mode for that but it means you can play with two other friends. So that'd be you, your two friends and then of course the bot account. If you want to see more videos like this, drop a like down below and comment what you want to see next. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time.